All right, guys, as part of our series that we do now where we discuss potential mixed breeds of the Jack Russell Terrier, today we are going to cover the Jack Chi. Jack Chi, is that how you say it? The Jackawa. The Jack Russell Terrier and the Chihuahua. Mixed breed, 50-50. Oh yeah, 50-50. 60-40 to Luna. Let's talk about the Jack Chi in today's video. Like we said guys, welcome back to the channel. We appreciate you coming back. For all of you who don't understand what this channel is, it is a channel dedicated towards helping you understand, raise, and learn about the Jack Russell Terrier. And newest to the channel is our new videos that discuss potential mixed breeds of the Jack Russell Terrier. We've done a few like the Jack Door, which is the lab mix with the Jack Russell, and now we're going to discuss the Jack Chi. This is for all of you who've commented in the past that you know that you have half of a Jack Russell but not quite the full purebred and you still love watching the channel so it's to help everybody get some content learn about these dogs all the potential mixes and have some fun while doing it so let's start covering the Jack Chi right now and to kick things off guys you know what the Jack Russell Terrier looks like it's sitting right here this is Luna a three-year-old purebred Jack Russell Terrier let's go ahead and take a look at a few pictures of what the Jack Chi could look like here is a few pretty awesome dog it's a pretty awesome mix in general I think it's a cool way to get some of the Jack Russell's personality and the Chihuahua's personality and still bundle it up into a small dog. Okay guys, so let's hit on that one more time just to make sure everybody understands. I know a lot of you might already have this dog breed, so you definitely get it. But the Jack Chi is 50% purebred Jack Russell, 50% purebred Chihuahua. It's a mixed breed, often intentionally, sometimes not intentionally, but it's a small dog mixed breed of the Jack Russell and the Chihuahua. Shockingly enough too guys, the Jack Chi can actually be bred in more colors than the Jack Russell and that's because you're getting both of the parents genes or traits depending on which one of those parents dogs traits are more dominant or present within the Jack Chi itself but you have your typical black white and brown and then you have any combination of those spotted mixes so those colors like she would be white and brown because she has the markings up top here so you have all those same Jack Russell type colors that you can get and then you can also have cream fawn golden or any combination basically of any of those colors i just listed when it comes to size the jack russell itself would be the bigger dog out of the two so you're going to stick to about an 8 to 15 pound dog 15 would be on the really high end of the scale because luna here is about 15 pounds herself and since she's the bigger dog it's more likely that you're going to fall under that scale or a better way to summarize it is if you have a jack chi or you're going to adopt one from a rescue or wherever it's going to be smaller than luna in most situations as far as, far as height, the height is going to be very similar, maybe slightly shorter. A Jack Chi typically gets about 8 to 12 inches tall. Depending on if they get more of the Jack Russell Terrier in the jeans, they could be around the 12 to 15 inches at the shoulders. So about a foot tall. Here's another thing about the Jack Chi as well, guys, is it is another expensive dog to adopt. And that is because both the purebred Jack Russell and the Chihuahua purebred are both known to be expensive dogs. So usually if you're getting a verified mix of the two, coming from two purebred you're still looking at probably 500 to a thousand bucks to adopt when it comes to a rescue I can't even really give you a price on that those vary so much across the world basically depending on you know fees that they charge you know what you're getting what kind of proof you have those kinds of things so while you can get it cheaper it is very likely that it is a expensive dog to adopt as well now when it comes to the behaviors and the personalities of the Jack Chi they're gonna be very similar to the Jack Russell because the Chihuahua while a little bit calmer still has a lot of the traits as a Jack Russell they're kind of one in the same so a Jack Russell is more hyper the Jack the Chihuahua is calmer so you do get to maybe bring the energy levels down a tad with the Jack Chi depending again on which parent dog the Jack Chi is getting more of its dominant traits from but when it comes to some of the other traits which is really true of any puppy like chewing digging following you around you're gonna get a lot of the Jack Russell with the Jack Chi they're still gonna be very attached loyal dogs Chihuahuas are very loyal to their owners as well, but they are known to be more reserved. They're not quite as outgoing as the Jack Russell Terrier. Jack Russells are running around everywhere they can go. They're always, you know, willing to do a greet and meet with about anybody, usually aggression free. But in general, the Chihuahua, again, a little bit calmer, not quite as outgoing, but still fiercely loyal, super attached, and that kind of strong love towards the owners and the family is going to be what you get out of a Jack Chi. When it comes to 
to lifespan with the Jack Chi are actually getting about the same as a Jack Russell, if not a little bit longer. I talk about this in several videos, how big dogs typically have shorter lifespans, small dogs have longer. So if you're getting a Jack Russell, but a little bit smaller, assuming there's no health complications or anything weird like that, you're gonna get about the same lifespan, if not a little bit longer out of a Jack Chi. From the training side, the social side of things, again, it's gonna be about the same. It can be tough for a new time dog owner to train a dog like a Jack Russell or a Chihuahua. They can be a little bit stubborn and they learn when they're a little bit more worn out because of their energy. But trainability is still very high. It's a very intelligent dog, the Jack Chi, and they are 100% capable of learning what you teach them. You just have to take the time, have the discipline, and have the consistency to do so. From the social side of things, the Jack Chi is gonna be a pretty social dog, not quite as social as a Jack Russell Terrier. Jack Russells, you know, they used to get a bad rep for aggression, but not really for like biting neighbors or anything like that, but they are known to stick to their families a little bit more and have a really high energy and want to jump on people. And they just, they show out their energy is the best way to put it. The good thing about the Jack Chi is, like I said, some of that will be tamed just a tad because the Chihuahua is not quite as just headstrong. They are. It, this is a tough dog to really give you huge differences because they're a lot more alike than you think. So you will get social skills, just not quite as good as the Jack Russell, in my opinion. On the grooming side of things, it's going to be another dog that is very easy and low maintenance. You know, Luna here does not require a ton. A Jack Chi will not either. It's a small dog. They don't need much when it comes to, you know, accessories because they're so small, minus toys, love, and the basics. But when it comes to grooming, they're not going to need frequent baths all the time. They're not going to need really much of anything besides some regular brushings and general common sense type care. Another good thing about the Jack Chi that if you don't like the prey drive of the Jack Russell, you do have a chance at having a diminished prey drive because a chihuahua is not quite as crazy about hunting the rabbits and squirrels and all of those things in the backyard. So you kind of get to bring that down a notch with the Jack Chi compared to the Jack Russell who once they see it, they're after it and there's nothing you're gonna do about it. And guys, right now would be a perfect time to smash that thumbs up button for us. We would greatly appreciate it. It's the only way we really get seen by others with these dogs or with questions about these dogs in general. Smash that thumbs up, subscribe if you would like. And now let's talk about how you could potentially adopt a Jack Chi if you want to. Here's the best advice I can give you on that is it's gonna be more difficult than you think for a mixed breed because it's kind of a designer mixed breed at that point too. Chihuahuas are not cheap and they are a desired dog breed so that can make it more difficult to find. So you can check local rescues and I highly recommend utilizing online platforms to type into the search bar Jack Chi and see what you can find. If there's something nearby to you, you can likely adopt it. Just make sure you verify that you're getting the dog that you think that you are. Completely possible to adopt. Just do your research and do your homework. No matter what, Luna and I think it would be a great dog for you because it's got some Aluna in them. If you own a Jack Chi now, guys, we would love to hear anything you can share with the community. We love responding to your comments. Luna might be a little bit more biased towards people getting more Jack Russell out of the Jack Chi than the Chihuahua, but that's just how Luna is. If you haven't subscribed yet and you want to or you find these videos helpful, be sure to do so now. All these new videos that we're posting have kind of a different schedule than they used to, but our normal videos about the Jack Russell will always be Sundays at 11 a.m. Central that will not change. None of that content changes for any of you. Keep tuning back in for those by hitting the notification button. Don't forget to check out terrierowner.com. It's a blog site dedicated to answering some of these questions for you if you enjoy reading maybe a little bit more than video. Check it out. Otherwise guys we're going to catch you in the next video. We appreciate you and take care.